that makes sense. I mean, it really doesn't, but I think it does. Welcome to Hollow Knight. And the music is incredible. Oh, I can't wait. Just can't wait to see what kind of torture this game is going to put me through. Because let's be honest, I feel like it's probably going to be like Dead Cells. And if that's the case, then yes, I will have to play through both of them at the same time. Just to see how much out of my brain can I squeeze through my ear hole. Oh, that was such a great visual. I hope you all imagined it. But let's begin. Now, are you going to torture me? Am I going to get backstory? What kind of hell is happening here? I'm already excited. I'm very happy that I didn't spoil myself on this game in the slightest. Also, I would love if there is no talking, simply just because that way I can talk over the cool aesthetic and everything. I can ruin it for you and for me, as of course. <coughs> mm, mm, yeah, the coffee's gonna stay in the video because you have to just see all of this cool whatever is happening on the screen. Ah, it's so odd to be quiet because it feels like I should be cutting every single part of the video in which I'm quiet. But I guess I shouldn't in this specific case. I don't know. I should probably should be trying to analyze what's actually happening on the screen instead of wondering about the video. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Oh, oh, thank you. Okay, that was a very fast introduction. It was incredibly quiet. Okay, all right, all right. I think I fixed the sound, and they killed an enemy too. All right, this is going way better than Dead Cells already. After all, I'm alive on the first level, so... Oh! Okay, and... I do have an intriguing health bar. Can I also any special abilities, or is that something I unlock later? Oh, I see, this is... This is one of those games that only people with actual intelligence can understand. Too bad I'm not one of them, but they can at least pretend to be. Oh great, there are spikes in this game too. Alright then, this is a very different game from Dead Cells and I'm very happy about that. Because as I said, I really don't want to torture myself that much all over again. And again, and again, and again. Are those things aggressive towards me or...? Oh! Oh! Bonus health! Oh, so it's armor! Okay, that makes sense. I mean, it really doesn't, but... I think it does. The controls feel slightly odd, but I guess it's logical, considering I'm not using a controller at all. Okay, how nice. Let us see! Come on, my little knight. Let us see what lies beyond this door. Or beyond this tutorial, to be more specific. Although I'm not certain whether this is still the end of the tutorial. I guess we'll see any second now. Okay! No fall damage, that is very good to know. I love this game already. It's kind of sad that one of the reasons why I appreciate this game so much already is simply just because my laptop can actually handle it. My bad, my bad, my bad. Oh! Oh, I see I rested, but it did reset my armor. Well, that's very unfortunate. I kind of wish I knew that before doing it. Alright, so... Apparently many bad things are happening in this area and I, I... I kind of want to explore the city slightly longer. Hitting the enemies really feels incredibly odd. Because... To me, it doesn't seem like they retain any damage. Ah, uh, flies! Of course, of course, why not? Come on, come on, I really want to kill you, actually. No, I didn't. I... I panicked! Okay! So, just like in any other game, panicking doesn't help your situation. This feels incredibly odd. I don't know my goal. Because in Dead Cells, I don't exactly know my goal either, but at least there, I can kind of assume... Oh well. Uh, I can kind of assume that the goal is to simply escape and be free, whatever that means. Here, apparently my character came voluntarily, so that's one thing. Also, according to that old man, 
Many creatures come here in order to search for riches and power or, and so on. And... Oh, great! Not creepy! Oh, it's a... Uh, it's not a roach, is it? No, I don't think so. I really hate bugs. I feel like this is going to be a game filled with bugs. I mean, I think the main character is actually a bug. Is everything... Yep, everything is bugs. Oh, the influence of the art style makes them look tolerable. Okay... Right, so I can buy a map. Oh! Oh, absolutely I'm buying a map! Uh... Considering I am already 100% lost. So apparently, I need to purchase the c a compass from his wife. And she is in a town which started with a D. I'm not certain where that was the beginning town, but let's actually see the map. Oh, great. Oh, okay, so the original... Okay, so his wife is there. Oh, I really want to come... Okay, let's see. How am I going to get back? Oh, I, uh, I, I, I did something. I really don't know how I was able to do that something, but I did it. It's... The effect whenever I get hit, it feels so crushing, which is very cool and also very worrying. Also, the creatures, at least in this area, don't seem to be bothered by me, more like I'm bothering them. So I think this is the area I came in. Honestly, no idea. Let me see the map. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, it is. I understand. Oh, there we go! I figured it out! I know what I'm doing! Oh, now it's open! Okay, so his wife is in there. Logical enough, right? And yeah, it is. Alright, so apparently there's gonna be grinding in this game. I don't know whether I should be grinding between the episodes, though. Oh, I see, so I need... Alright, so 340. Okay, if the creatures respawn... I think I'll grind it in between the episodes. Leave a comment so that I won't feel completely hollow on the inside.